I'm sure everyone has had the hiccups at least once in their life. They're annoying, often untimely, and just plain uncomfortable. I'm sure you've often wondered yourself what causes us to hiccup. Have you ever been told when you contracted a bad case of the hiccups that it meant that you were growing? My own family told me this when I was growing up, and I believed it for a long time. However, there is no scientific proof that getting the hiccups will mean that you are growing. Old wives' tales have circulated for years that hiccups mean a child is growing, but modern-day science knows better. In this investigation, we will discuss the actual cause of the hiccups and why this old wives' tale has no scientific basis. Years ago, information was spread by word of mouth. One person would tell another and another and another until everyone knew about what the first person had said. However, in today's age, most information is spread online. Online forums, websites, social media, blogs, and videos are all platforms in which people can exchange ideas, information, and feelings. Upon looking for information regarding the topic of hiccups and if they really do mean that a kid is growing, I found many online question and answer forums with users posing the question, do hiccups really mean you're growing? Additionally, many hospitals post myths and debunk them in articles on their websites, upon which a doctor employed at the hospital provides scientific explanations for common ailments. Even in today's technology-heavy society, Word of mouth is still a large factor contributing to the spread of old wives' tales and scientific inaccuracies. For example, people will see a fake article on Facebook and will not only believe it entirely, but share it with their friends. When I would get the hiccups as a kid, my grandmother would tell me, Oh, that means you're growing. And of course, as a child, when you hear something interesting, you have to run and tell all your friends. So then, every kid in my class was also spreading the tall tale and the spread went on. These are some of the common sources where this inaccuracy is dispensed. The idea or concept that hiccups were a sign that a child was having a growth spurt originated as an old wives' tale. One person would say the tale and pass it to another and another and so on. Even as children who grew up hearing the sayings became old enough to know that the tale was false, they still caught themselves passing it on to their own children. I believe this tale became popular because, as humans, we cling to such tales about common ailments in our health because they offer comforting advice about experiences we all share, have little control over, and usually worry about. The saying goes that ignorance is bliss, but for most people, the unknown is scary. Without having an explanation for things, the mind is left to come up with the worst-case scenario. By having comforting explanations for everyday ailments, it gives people one less thing to worry about. These are just a few ways that scientific inaccuracies and old wives' tales became and will become popular. Now that we have discussed the untrue stories behind the hiccups, let's investigate the real reason behind the hiccups and how they happen. Doctors claim that hiccups begin with a stimulus that stretches the stomach. Sometimes that stimulus can be drinking or eating too fast, but it can also be swallowing air during intense emotions such as laughing, anxiety, or excitement. The mechanism for the hiccups is essentially uncontrolled contractions of the diaphragm, the long muscle below the lungs that is vital for inhaling air. The contraction initiates a quick intake of air. After the contraction, the vocal folds momentarily close, preventing the air from moving through the windpipe and into the lungs. This, in turn, creates the familiar hick sound, and the sudden rush of air causes you to jump or spasm. Most cases of the hiccups resolve themselves in time, but on occasion, a doctor can prescribe medications for intense, prolonged hiccups. However, hiccups that last longer than normal may be a sign of an underlying medical condition and warrant a visit to the doctor. With that being said, why do we hiccup? The mechanism in and of itself is contradictory. Why take air in only to not allow it into the lungs? At this point, doctors cannot pinpoint a medical reason for the hiccups or any benefits to having them. There is a theory that the hiccups stem from a historic fish that the human race evolved from. The fish's lungs adapted to breathing underwater with gills to breathing air from the environment. 